Hi guys, hope you're all doing fantastic. Thanks for all your love and support to our channel, Everyday Life. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please click on the subscribe button and press the like button to make sure you're updated with all our new videos. Archery is my newfound love recently. I've spent the last one year trying to learn and perfect the skill. In the process of this journey, in the last one year, what I have realized is it's not easy to pick and find out what kind of equipment you need because there are so many types of archery. It's, an, it's one of the most ancient sports in the world. So there are so many types and variety of equipment that you have. And when you go into an archery store, then you find different types of bows, different types of arrows, and different with different specifications and things like that. So it's not easy to choose. So what I thought is from my learning in the last one year, I thought I would make a video so that everyone else who's going to start archery does not need to go through the same kind of an effort and it would make the, the beginning much more pleasant and an enjoyable experience. Let's talk about arrows. Arrow is the most important thing when it comes to archery. And picking the right size and the right type of arrow and the right material plays a very, very important role. It's not that anything that you load onto the bow and shoot it would reach the target. It all depends on the arrows that you choose. And it also changes from person to person. So you need to choose and find out what is the right arrow for you. Let me give you a quick brief on the types of arrows. One of the most lowest priced and the most commonly used arrows at, uh, for a beginner is fiberglass arrows. Fiberglass arrows are really cheap and they're disposable because of because of the price and but the only problem with them is they break easily if you hit or if, if you miss the target so initially when you're practicing archery it, it is common that you might miss the whole face of uh, the, the whole target itself and you might end up hitting a wall or you, you might lose your arrow so invest in fiberglass arrows initially when you are learning uh, archery in the, in the beginning stages once you've got yourself to a good position then the best thing that to prefer is a carbon fiber arrow. Carbon fiber arrows are really good and of very good make. Uh, the strength of the arrow is very strong and anything that would break a carbon fiber arrow would break any other arrow. And most commonly used in most of the competitions are carbon fiber arrows. And apart from carbon fiber arrows, the next thing that you can go for is an aluminum arrow. The main purpose of an aluminum arrow is that it is lightweight but they are broken very easily. Again, they are cheap. Um, they are used for cloud shooting and all that where we have to reach longer distances and the, because of the weight of the arrow is quite less, it can fly for much more longer distances than the carbon fiber arrow. So apart from these, what is important in an arrow when you're choosing an arrow is your draw length. Your draw length is measured by uh, stretching your arms to the widest point and from one tip of your middle finger to the other tip of your middle finger, you need to measure the whole distance. The distance between one tip of my middle finger to the other tip is 75 inches. So once you have that measurement, you divide it by 2.5 times and that gives me 30 inches, which is my draw length. So your draw length could be different. Your draw length could be 28 inches, 32 inches, 26 inches, depending upon your height and your limbs. So once you know your draw length, the ideal arrow to pick is one or two inches above your draw length. So I, I use a 31 inch arrow because I have a 30 inch draw length. Make sure you don't pick an arrow that's too longer than your draw length because then it will make your aiming really difficult. Once you know your draw length, the, once you know your arrow size, the next most important thing that you need to know is your spine of your arrow. The spine of the arrow plays a critical role in keeping the arrow straight and reaching your target in the, uh, the same point every time. The spine is basically the thickness of the arrow, the strength of the of the arrow, the strength with which it can hold its its straightness. Okay, the, the higher the spine number, the finer the arrow is. So for example, if you have a 300 spine arrow, it would be much harder to bend it. If you have an 800 spine arrow, it would be much easier to bend it. So. It depends, there is no one good spine or anything. It depends upon really the size, the poundage of the bow that you use. So if you use a heavy poundage bow, say you use a 65 pound bow, and if you use uh, an 800 uh, spine arrow, which means you have a very strong bow and a very weak arrow. So every time you shoot out of that, what happens is it the bow exerts a lot of pressure on your arrow 
and your arrow would bend onto your onto your right so every time your arrow shoot if you hit if you target something and every time if your arrow is going towards the right that means your arrow is too weak for your bow and if every time you shoot and if your arrow is going towards your left that means your arrow is too stiff for your bow because that means that the bow is not able to bend the arrow enough and every time the arrow is going towards your left and if you choose the right arrow it should go absolutely straight from your bow so for a 45 for a, say for a 65 bone bow you need to probably go for a 300 spine arrow or a 150 spine arrow or something like that that's just numbers i'm just giving you for an example and if you go for a 35 pound bow you need to go for an 800 spine arrow or a 600 spine arrow or something like that because that's when your arrows will go straight and without bending this way or that way so once again a quick re recap for you the spine of the arrow the higher the number the finer the weaker the arrow the lower the number the stronger the arrow so a 300 arrow spine arrow is is much more stiffer a 800 spine arrow is much more thinner anything in between varies accordingly so for a 35 pound bow i use a 600 spine arrow and it always goes straight so once you know the spine of the length of the arrow you need to choose and the spine of the arrow the next thing is make sure you pick the right knock for the arrow there are two three different sizes of knocks that you have in the market today and the knock of the arrow plays a critical role because it should not be too tight on your string it should not be too loose on your string too tight on your string the arrow struggles to leave the bow and it would lose a lot of velocity and too loose on the on the string the arrow keeps falling off from the bow so make sure you pick the right size of knock for the right thickness of the string that you have and the last thing that you have in an arrow is the tip of the arrow the, this is the most common tip that you will get with most arrows today and this is kind of a standard tip which is used in all the competitions and everywhere but uh, there are different tips that are available that interchangeable and you can buy from the market most common fiberglass arrows never uh, you cannot replace the tip or you cannot change the tip because it's glued on permanently but for some of the carbon fiber arrows for some of the aluminum arrows you have an insert in the arrow with a screw kind of a fixture inside wherein you can screw a tip or or you can unscrew a tip and you can change the tip depending upon the purpose of the tip and what what archery you're after please click on the channel there are more videos covering all the basic tips of archery how to go about aiming and uh, what kind of bow is right for you, what kind of arrow is right for you and covering all the other topics. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.